I think it's because the wolves might present a possible danger to um, my village dudes. I think is what's going to happen there. Um, right. Okay. We're on. We're on the resource hunt now. We're on the resource hunt. We're looking for flint. Pretty sure it's flint that we're looking for. That's not flint. We've got to tidy up our tracks after we dig down because hey, why not? There, apparently, there's another one here. Is there? Oh no, just took. Oh no, there is. Okay, how deep are we gonna have to go for this one? Or is it there? Yeah, it still seems to be there. How deep are we gonna have to go? Unless that's a bug where it's still displaying. No, no, there is one. Pardon my. Um. Whatever. Flelt again, so. Okay. Now we've gotta fill in the hole back up because obviously we're going. Actually, maybe not because. I think that's, if you look at this, it's on the same level as this one is, so yeah. Actually, that worked out not so bad. Because it'd be nice, oh, sorry. It'd be nice to keep that on the same level. It's always nice to have, to have a village on the same level, I think. Um, because these guys can be kind of dicky about um, going upstairs, as it were. Sometimes they can have difficulty in it. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing this with more. I need to stop doing this with the mana. Ah, yes, we've our mana's grown back. Not on those mud ones, but on these ones, which is good. So that was going to be a lot of belief for us, which is awesome. Okay, cool. Right. Um, let us look for more of those little blue wavy lines. Maybe we should go on a... Uh, mana sort of quest with the trees and stuff. There's one, there's one, there's one right there. And it seems to be relatively close to the surface. Please be flint. No, candles. Where will I get flint? Um, I'm thinking maybe doing another one of those battles might get me some flint. Um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend the time on going through looking at these chests to find the ones that I have. So we're one kindling and one whatever that thing on the right is away from the calendar. So that's cool. I believe it's cool anyway. Um, there we go. Animal furs. So now we only need one kindling to get a calendar. That's cool. Not sure what the calendar is going to achieve for us. I guess I could look that up. But uh, I think it would be cooler to... Um, just wait and see. Um, I wonder if the color of these little bits of paper indicates how low down the chest is. I'll never really understand the design choice behind this dynamic. What was going on in the office that day? Okay, so for Felt, what we're going to have them do is like just dig down really deep into the hole. Um, because that... Stupid. Not, why can't I... Get a hole down in there. I'm right clicking. There we go. Finally. Stone. Okay. We got settlements. That's what we needed. Not flint. Yay! We got something inadvertently by going, thinking I was going for something else. And I just have enough mana to use it. Awesome. 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 Oops. Uh, I meant to just exit off. How do I exit off? Cool. So can I use a settlement? I can, and I've just got enough mana to use it. Okay, so I'm wondering where I should put my first settlement thing. I'm thinking maybe... Click to place. I'm thinking maybe here. So this is a town now. Can I rename the town? Mud. Metropolis. There we go. We got the the city of Mudtropolis, and I've just destroyed all the mana belief I had. And I'm just going to get rid of these things because they annoy me. <laughs> See, these are the kind of uh, things I should probably ignore because they have no effect on, you know, the game. But uh, they annoy me so. Anyway, right, so, so we've got all these roads going out to here. 
and now people start walking about for some reason i guess now what happens then is all the belief that will generate here will center there over the mudtropolis thing so hopefully we won't have to click on everything as much and once we get another 2000 we're going to do that um again we're going to do that again uh in one of the other two main towns that we have i think so what we have to do in the interim is get some more belief i think and this is a bit of a slow and methodical way to get belief but it's kind of necessary because without clearing this stuff away anyway it we can't really expand as easily so it kind of serves two purposes i guess um if if you're if we're going to take an optimistic view on that it serves two purposes Kindling. So I think we've got a calendar. Uh, how do we use calendar? Is that one of the uh, spells, as it were? Calendar, calendar, calendar. Nope. How do we use the calendar? Calendar. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's read it by calendar then. Uh, there it is. Sorry. Oh, no, we don't have it. We need to get another candle. My mistake. My mistake. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Click, click, clickety, click. We're getting close, as you can see up here, to... Um, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, I've got enough mana now for another uh, settlement. I think I will place that down, actually. Um... Maybe I will. No, what is this thing? I just don't know what that. Oh, oops! Didn't we do that? I just don't know what that is. If you know what that is, please say in the comments what it is. Oh, we've got enough for calendar now. Awesome. Uh, okay, cool. So let's read about it. Day night cycle unlocked. That seems strange that I have to unlock that. <laughs> in many early civilizations, calendar systems were developed. The Sumerian calendar, based on twelve lunar months. Blah 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 blah. Oh. The first one's in Aberdeenshire in Scotland. That's interesting. Okay, so... So there's that now. Um, I don't know what that's going to make difference-wise to gameplay. Um, I guess we'll start seeing it get dark. Uh, I don't know if that's going to bring any uh, challenges or benefits along with it. Will we face dangers in the night will the wolves that we can see here in the corner start attacking us more at night will we get minecraft zombies coming out that we can wait in our homes to avoid and let them burn in the sun who knows that'd be cool if um somebody developed a texture pack or something for this that changed all the uh, little villagers into <laughs> testificates that'd be pretty funny <laughs> It would in my head anyway. Okay, I can't reach them. Cool. Uh, right, so next settlement I think we will put here. Uh, oh, where is it now? What? Why has it got so expensive? So it, it gets more expensive with every goddamn one you place. Oh, this game. This game is a grind fest, man. Like, why is that? Oh, why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? Why would they make that happen? Why is everybody running to their home? What have I done? Have I scared them? Why is there no mana here? <laughs> There's so many things I have to ponder about this game. So many things. Maybe I don't need to have another settlement. Maybe I can just turn Mudtropolis into a big, big, big motherfucking, you know, Metropolis, as it were, by expanding the shit out of this land bridge come on in we go could work you never know I probably should have put the settlement here in that case can I move a settlement was that a spell that I got I call them spells I don't think that's probably accurate but uh, as I said I don't really feel much like a god I feel more like a Right, anyone seen that bit in, uh, or read that bit more specifically, because that's where I was first introduced to it, and I, 
I don't actually not sure if the movie features it actually. In Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where the guy's talking about the fjords in Norway and sculpting them. I feel like that, but kind of not as cool, because all I'm doing is stripping across little bits of land. That's what I feel like. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe maybe, maybe my opinion will drastically change about this game. We do get to go to the Space Age. Now, like, on the face of it, that excites me no end. I love that sort of shit. You know, the idea of progression in a game to that extent is very, very exciting. Yeah. Okay. Apparently that cost me belief, okay. Who knows why. Um, <laughs> let's, let's expand Metropolis. I don't know why either, because I'm not getting any mana from them, but whatever. Is anybody around there? Are these people who are wandering around in, in need of homes? Do I need to build them homes? I. Okay, ah, oh, I see. So now the flag, even the flag just goes centrally too. Okay, that's interesting. Not something I anticipated, but interesting. Okay, why does that not... No, go away. I want you to be neat and tidy. I am quite particular about the edges of my beach cliffs, okay? I need them to be nice and neat and tidy. I don't know why I'm spending so much time in Metropolis. It's probably counterproductive because I'm pretty sure that it's the more modern stuff that will give me more belief. But hey... My followers need more resources. You can play these by doing battle maps. Well, it's nice that they're giving hints and stuff. It's also fucking retarded that that's the way you get resources, but whatever. Well, I need to, as I said many times before, stop passing judgment. Except I really like passing judgment, so <laughs> there might be a problem there. Okay, right. Let's just make this a 2x2. Two two. I, I think we can get a 2x2 two two in here, can't we? No, you're not gonna go into two by two, are you? You really should. There we go. Okay, and click on the flag to send people out. Okay, we've got mana here. Now that's good. Now, I wonder if I do the god temple thing, will I get a um? Will I get a decent amount of um? Of mana belief from that. Because, as I said, that's usually what I'm limited by uh, when it comes to spells and things. So Now, I do appreciate that whenever I instantly saw that that was going to be 7,500, my first reaction was negative. And I don't mind that things take time in games. I honestly don't. It's just when things take time... And the time is essentially just... A series of monotonous, grindy, clicky tasks. That's not a game. That's a chore. I really, you know, because like games first and foremost have to be kind of fun. And let's see what card we got here by advancing. We got number five, I think, or something. It's not going to show us apparently. So yeah, there's, there's that. <laughs> I need to stop saying there's that. There's that has become kind of like an unintentional catchphrase of mine recently. It's kind of semi-cynical, semi-sarcastic way of just being like, well, well, that's the way that is. So, again, as part of the whole not being so negative thing, I think I will try and stop that. But anyway, Metropolis is still not giving us any belief, so it may be placing our first settlement there was a bizarre and silly decision. I wonder if we go around collecting more of these things, we will get the... In you know, enough of the mana. Uh, well, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. We're not too far off, I guess. We get a decent amount of mana from, you know, the sort of clicking, don't we? But I think I've got rid of most of these mana objects. I'm not going to call them resources, because they're not. So, yeah. What I could do is now wait. <laughs> because the next... See, this, again, this is just, I'm not being negative, I'm being constructive. This is the problem with the game now. Now, the next logical thing I want to do is place a settlement here. So, that, you know, in order to get the progression, if you look at these spells that I've got, the next one 
you know, scope plan is the basic one. Settlement is the next one. You know, it's like, you know, seems logical that I keep doing this. How do I unlock Finger of God? I'll need to look at that up because that's pretty cool. And it's only 200 mana. I think they've reduced that. It used to be a lot more, I think. I think it used to be about 2,000 and annoyed me. If it's another thing where it costs more and more to use it each time, I'm going to be super pissed. But whatever. <laughs> um... The next thing I want to do is place a settlement down, isn't it? But I can't because I don't have enough mana. So I could either wait and literally do nothing, or I could spend the mana and bring myself kind of further away from the object of what I want to do next, which is place a settlement, which is what I'm doing now. I'm essentially bringing myself further away. Now, I know in theory, the changes I'm making will lead to more mana production in the future, but at the expense of grindy, clicky gameplay. Okay. So it's not that enjoyable, you know what I mean? I could either wait, or I can not wait, and spend, and go away further from my goal. So I'm kind of almost encouraged to wait. And that, in itself, is a fundamental flaw, I think. Because I don't want to wait, as you can quite clearly see now. Waiting, especially for a let's play, I mean, that's just retarded. I don't want to just sit and not do anything and wait for little pink balls of bullshit to come up over the houses. Maybe I should change the name of this playthrough to somebody who doesn't like goddess playing goddess. <laughs> or give goddess a chance. Oh, okay, I think it's night time now. You can tell because this is blue. <laughs> That's it. Made this game, man. Why is that? I mean, I guess it's getting darker now too. Fair enough. Okay. 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 We're seeing some change. I apologize for being so rash. I apologize. Sorry, Peter Molyneux. It actually looks quite nice now. The games always look nice, and the the nighttime effects and the water effects are, are especially at nighttime, are pretty damn cool looking. Um, tell me how. I can progress without waiting though and I will be very happy because it's been quite a while now since any of those little pink blobs have come up. In fact, since the beginning of this playthrough, I haven't seen any come up here. So unless that's a bug uh, or it's a gameplay feature that isn't explained, I totally wasted placing that settlement down. Um, so yeah, oh well. We are working through the night, though. Not IRL, because that would be silly. But uh, in here, we're working through the night. And these guys are they are doing their thing. They're doing their thing. Okay, let us click on a few more of these guys. Why is that yellow? What a strange effect. And let us click on these guys, and then let's do another. Oh, sorry. Let's do another thingamajigger, shall we? A battle get us some resources and maybe something else I'm not sure what calendar got us apart from the the kind of pretty effect but well I guess we'll find out this is good think I get better at it now oh get it better met anyone else not yet? no I've just met you X Amy X I've got time for a battle before what is like why is this is obviously <sighs> Hidden Canyon. I've got 20 seconds to decide. Okay. Let's bring it down. Does that change the cost anyway, actually? Then why don't I just... What's the disadvantage of doing that? Alright, let's just give ourselves an advantage and... <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs>